Hello everyone, this is Keys Ritual, and today I am going to be going to the club for the first time in full drag. Um, and this is also the first time putting makeup on in this location, I believe. Yes, I'm sure. I have a really bad memory. But, so I'm trying this new layout. I got my mirrors already. Hopefully I won't be like looking myself in the mirror. Let me see. As long as, if I'm doing my eyes, it's as close as I'm going to get, so. I'm sorry in advance if I um, end up in frame, out of frame or whatever. I'll try my best. But I'm going, I've already just showered and shaved. Um, full clean off everything I was wearing this morning, makeup wise. And now I'm going to just go and drag. Like, I've done drag in my last videos, but I've never gone out in it. And now I've learned a lot more through a progression of time. So let's see how it works. I'm actually starting, going to be starting with um, some samples that I got and some new stuff that I never used to do in my skincare routine just to help fix my skin up, which includes like this first aid beauty, which I got at Sephora and this sampler from Block Home Genifique. So I know I'm like name dropping right now, but I hope you enjoy this video. I'll be right long to go start day my makeup. Okay, first thing first, I'm going to comb my hair because I don't want it to be in the way. And also, I planned to put a wig on, but in the end, I didn't. And now I'm taking my new contacts. I honestly don't know the name of them just yet. Uh, I have to look that up because I sort of threw away the vials before I memorized the name. But they're like this like grayish, blue, white contact. And then next, I'm taking that new stuff that I just got and putting it all over my face. I don't really know what it does, but um, whatever. Now I'm taking the first aid, and I'm going to put that all over my face to help rehydrate my skin because it is a little dried out. Followed by It's Potent, which is a Sephora sampler. Now I'm going to take and comb my eyebrows up to get some glue in it. Well, actually, I'm going to comb over. You can see I changed that too. Then I'm going to put some glue in it to help put it down. And after that, I'm going to comb it up. I just recently decided to start doing this way because previously I used to comb it over but it was just too much of a thick bump and I found this works better on me. And I'm going to add a little bit more glue to keep this help smooth it out a little bit and add a little bit of thickness. And I'm going to use my uh, loose powder to go over it to flatten it out and just patch work a little bit. And now I'm taking a spatula with some glue and I'm going to try to smooth it out as much as I can in a very slow manner so that the glue has time to dry as well as I don't get it everywhere like I usually do. And just try to keep smoothing it out with this little plastic spatula I actually got from Krylon in their eyebrow design kit with the wax. But I found glue still, I still like it quite the most. Now this does take a while. I should have probably sped this one up a little bit more. Now after it's dried a little bit, I decided to go in with my Makeup Forever Coral Color, which you can actually find in the 12 color uh, palette, the uh, flash palette. But I just bought it separately because I heard it worked very well with hiding facial hair. And I'm taking the powder to, while it's half dry, it's still a little wet, but not wet enough to like mess it up. And I'm patting that to flatten it out. And I'm taking my big brush to clean it up and then I'm doing a little bit of patchwork. Now I just put the, and then I'm gonna moisturize my lips with Burt's Bees, and I already lip scrubbed them before, but you didn't see that. I'm taking the coral and putting it over my eyebrows to help cancel out possibly that color, although it doesn't quite work as well as I had hoped on the eyebrows. And I'm just blending it out so it's not all caked in one area. And taking my regular Maron foundation, which is medium too. And I'm going to use some finishing spray to help blend that out and thin it out. Now I did both eyes a bit separately due to the fact one was drying faster than the other. So ignore that. I'm using Urban Decay uh, Primer as well on my eyelids. I'm using the anti-aging potion. I like Sin, but they didn't have that anymore at the one I went to. But yeah, I'm just redoing the whole thing on my other eye now because it dried. 
And now I'm taking some uh, Ben Nye Clown White and going over the entire eye area just so I have a nice clean surface to work with. Nice white flat surface so you can't see through my makeup. And it also is very well good for uh, sticking eyeshadows too. And I'm also blending that out. And I decided to start Skyping a friend while doing this, FYI, just because I need some entertainment. And I was going over this with the powder and then cleaning it up just to mattify it a little bit. Now I use duct tape for my eyes because I find it so much easier to create lines and make them clean. First I'm starting with Melt uh, Cosmetics uh, Blur and going over a good portion of my eye just so that I have like a skin tone to work with. But still a thick color. And I'm also going in with Taco around my eyebrows from Sugar Pill. And I'm going in with the Melt a Dark Matter color, and I'm just creating my crease. Well, I'm, I'm using the entire Dark Matter palette pretty much on my crease, which is a stack of four colors, uh, excluding blur. But I'm going in with, um, uh, I don't remember the colors right now, I'm sorry. I usually know these colors, but I use them like every time I do a hard cut crease. And I blend, I take, you start from the lightest shade and work my way to the darkest, and then I go back to keep everything blended together. So it becomes like a seamless thing. And I'm going with taco above it just to give it a nice white. And I'm using After Party by Sugar Pill to give myself a little bit of color in the eyes because I feel like nudes is just not for me. And constantly, of course, doing repair work throughout the entire process because that's how I work. Now I'm taking NYX Eyebrow uh, Cream in ES04. I don't remember the exact color name, but it's ES04. And I'm using that to draw my eyebrows in slowly to give it a little bit of a texture. And cleaning up with Makeup Wave as I see fit. Now I want to, I sometimes go with angle, but this time I decided to go with just arches. Like full on curved arches. And now I'm going with my Ingla uh, gel liner and I'm drawing on my lines, my eye lines. Now while doing this, I uh, accidentally got some on my contact and it dried on there. So you'll see soon that I pull it out and let it soak in contact solution so I can clean it. Because you can see, I'm not liking my uh, my right eye because it just starts hurting, and I keep I keep pulling at it. Now that that's done, I'm cleaning it up a little bit, pulling the tape off, and you can see the contact is gone. Now I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup now, making the lens a little bit thicker. And I'm deciding to also extend this liquid, uh, this gel liner into my crease to give it a harsher edge because I wasn't quite satisfied with that. And I'm going to blend that into my crease. and I somehow ended up with gel liner on my cheek and I didn't notice that for a while. Now I'm taking my remover on a brush just to clean up some lines because there's glue in weird places either, even still. So I'm using a bit of makeup remover Clinique on a brush just to clean it up.
And I'm very particular with my eyes, as you can tell. I like to get them just the right way. A little bit more blending. And the contact is finally clean. <laughs> now I'm taking my foundation, Maron in medium two, which is my skin tone. It's a little bit lighter, but not by enough for it to be noticeable. And I'm putting that in all my uh, highlight areas. And I'm taking a smaller brush with Maron Dark 2 foundation, and I'm creating my contour areas. And I'm putting a little bit on my upper lip just to contour that a little bit. And then I'm taking my um, Maybelline Hot Pink uh, blush, and I'm putting that in there as well. Now I'm taking my beauty blender, I'm going to just blend everything together, starting with the lighter areas, working my way to the pink, and then blending in with the dark, just so I don't uh, create a muddy effect. So I just go from lighter to darker, and then go all over my face in those areas and just work my way around. And as you can see, I've already got like all the contours I would need right now, but unfortunately it's not set. Doing a little touch-up work is coarse. Now I'm taking my Organic Wear uh, Loose Powder and I'm going to all my highlights. And I'm taking my, um, I'm gonna just blend that everywhere. And now I'm taking Banana Powder and going in all my contour areas. You can use any kind of powder, but I usually just see what happens. And I'm taking my NYX Milk Pencil, which I used to do years ago, but never actually done it recently. And then I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and I'm using one of the darker colors in my medium to dark, and using that into my contours. As, as well as now my BH Cosmetics Pink Blush. Now I'm going with my NYX Liner, I think. No, apparently not. I'm adding a little bit more brown to contour my nose and cleaning up the white and putting some organic wear powder over the white area. Now I'm going in with the, the NYX liner and I'm drawing my lower line. I'm doing a little curve down just so I have somewhere to put the lashes without it being up in my eye because my eyes don't do up bottom and top lashes very well because they just start to interweave because they touch each other too much. And I'm blending it just a little bit just to give it a little bit depth. And I'm going to put a little bit more white eyeshadow on the inside. Curling my lashes and mascara. Now I'm taking this NK pencil in red-ish, I think. It gets, it's a red pencil, although it looks pink on my lips just because of the lighting. And I'm slowly overdrawing my lips slowly and by slowly just so I get them the way I want them. And I decided to use Prom Night by Jeffree Star but decided I didn't really like it. And so I went in with my Unicorn Blood which is like my go-to red lipstick right now. I'm like obsessed with this color for some reason. I'm obsessed with all the Jeffree Star lipsticks. And now I'm going in with a pencil just to clean it up a little bit. While it's still a little wet, just so I can spread out the make lipstick. And then I decided to go in with a brush with a little bit of uh, unicorn blood on it just to clean up my lines. Because it was, they have these little gaps in my lips. Like little dots that I can't get into with lipstick usually. And this was just going right in there with this brush. 
And now the search for the lashes that I want to use. Now first thing I'm going to use is, these are like my go-to drag lash. These are Crystallines by Sugar Pill Cosmetics. They're only like $12, but they're like covered in gemstones and they're huge. And so I'm gonna use these as my top lash. Now it takes me a minute to get these lashes on just because I am just so inefficient with lashes. I never can get them on just right. And I'm always like poking at them until it just fits just right in the way I want. Now I'm using these purple lashes also by Sugar Pill. I think they're called Angel Baby or something of the sorts. I can't recall, but then I realized I was putting this lash on the wrong eye as well and upside down. So I fixed that and I just put those right on the lower lash line that I drew. And just drying it a little bit, making sure it's all good. And I'm done. Okay, and I'm done. Um, I did do a little bit of finishing spray, which it was, I was using to uh, blend everything, so I didn't do that on camera. But everything else I did, uh, you might notice there's some weird um, continuity issues. That's because I messed up my eyes and just redid them all, dirty with glue, and so I was gonna cut all that out. But here's my final outfit. Um, I got this shirt a long time ago at Vampire Freaks. This thing got a vintage goth. I don't really like it, but it will work. And then of course my platform, because I don't have heels. But I'm going to I throw everything in my bag and I'm going to head out now. But I will see you all next time. Have a good day. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you all next time. Have a good day. Bye.